You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Somebody me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you into the Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go, and let's do it. Okay, mm -mm. but you never seem to want to address it before. But you never seem to want to address it before. Whenever I brought it up, you either laughed about it or just changed the subject. I kind of gave up on talking about it. Not that I don't worry about it, though. Like I said, it's still all kinds of uncomfortable. Well, yeah, she's my sister. I don't want to hurt her feelings by telling her that you're not available. And she'd have a hard time believing me anyway, since she knows of your patterns. You can just say that I've dated a few girls. It's not like it's offensive to say. Fine. She knows of your 13 girlfriends since junior high. Wait, 13? Was it that many? The fact that you don't remember just makes me feel even worse for those poor girls. I just never even bothered to count before. Let's see, there was Miki, Yukiko, Soika, Akari, Akani, Sayaka, Hina, Shiori, Tuka, Rin, Kazumi. Uh, oh god. The look on your face tells me you just did the math. Can we never speak of this again? Gladly. Either way, my point was, since Atoka knows of your past relationships, she doesn't really think any new ones would stick. Which I can't totally blame her for. I wouldn't either before, except now I really hope that it does. Yes, we can call that being biased, dear. There's just no way for me to explain to her how this one is different from the others from the others without Oh. It hits me all at once. I know exactly where Shuichi is going with this. Without telling her that it's you I'm dating and subsequently coming out to your family. Right? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm ashamed of you or anything. And Mom isn't the type to be bigoted or anything, or at least I hope she's not. It's just, we only just started reconnecting. It'd be... I've been staying away from the Mom and Hitoka, and Mom and Hitoka because I felt guilty. Even though they're my family, they also feel like strangers in a way. I think it might be too soon to tell them something like that. Which is an unbelievably selfish thing. Which is an unbelievably selfish thing for me to say when I know Hitoka has having feelings for you is something that's made you uncomfortable for years now. That's fine. Really? I don't know. I don't want you to do anything you're not ready for. Don't get me wrong. I've made a lot of progress in getting used to this whole liking guys thing, but I don't want I don't think I'm 100% there yet. At the very least, not confident enough to, uh, about it to tell mom. That's man. That makes me feel better. I place a hand on Shuichi's shoulder, gently squeezing in an attempt to offer him some comfort. Stop worrying so much. This is supposed to be easy. Let's not overcomplicate things, okay? There's no reason to rush things. If you're not there yet, you're not there yet. You're surprisingly wise sometimes. What do you mean, surprisingly? And it's gone. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't get mad. I'm not mad. Really, because you look like you wanted to strangle me for a second there. Strangling is just- strangling is too much. Just smacking upside the head would have been fine. Ouch. So you did want to hit me. Only with love. Why doesn't that make me feel any better? I don't know. Is there something wrong with you? Okay, I think we've pulled as much from this particular thread as we ought, as we, as we ought to. It's now my turn to say- <laughs> It is now my turn to say only, I'm only kidding? I love you, but if you say that, I just might leave you love you a tiny bit less. Really? Do you actually mean that? Shut up. Heh, <laughs> thought so. I'm getting better at teasing you. At least now things won't be as one-sided anymore. If that was all you wanted to talk about, I really should get going to class. Oh, um, well... Uh-oh. What else is there? It's nothing major, I promise. It's just... Atoka is, uh, gonna join us for lunch today. Oh, is that all? That's not so bad. I did say it wasn't anything major. I didn't say- I did say it wasn't anything major. I just wanted to let you know in case she, you know, tries to flirt or to steal more kisses. I appreciate the warning, but you'll be fine. But I'll be fine. It, it might not- I might not like it when she hits on me, but she's still a close friend, you know? She's like a sister to me. I used to say I was like a brother to you, too. But that didn't stop you from- Don't you dare finish that sentence! <laughs> Will this be a permanent arrangement? Hmm, I doubt it. Hitoka's got a pretty sizable group of friends herself. A bunch of her friends from junior high got accepted here, so she hangs out with them most of the time. Maybe a once-a-weekly thing? Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think having Hitoka once a week would be bad at all. Frankly, this is a great development compared to when Shuichi didn't have her around at all. 
It makes me happy that you're spending time with your sister again. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're all pro-family and stuff. I have the spiel memorized by now. Like, you don't have any spiels of your own, Mr. Pro-Education. I feel like I feel like any answer I give here will see will see me either come across as a callous monster or a hypocrite. Just about, yeah. Great. On that note, I should get to class myself. I spent forty minutes waiting outside for you. You didn't have to wait that long. You, we could have just had this conversation after class just as easily. You underestimate just how much I needed to talk about this. The really relief I felt was huge. Jeez, are you go getting hung up on the strangest things again? I swear, it wouldn't hurt for you to learn how to relax once in a while. I'm sure your blood pressure would thank you for it. I'll see you again during lunch. And, um, if I'm weird or a bit distant during it, it's just because I don't want to risk Katoka figuring it out, okay? I know that, you big lug. Stop driving yourself up a wall over it. Just go already, and we're both going to be- we're both going to be late. Okay, okay, you don't have to be so... So what? I don't know. Words. It'll come to me eventually. I stand in awe of your boundless wit. I know, I'm awesome. You sure are something. Can I at least have a kiss before we go? Uh, here? I instinctively look around, trying to quantify just how many people would be there to see us kiss. The last thing any of us needs is for this to get out. There would be a headache and I have to deal with. No, not here. Do I look like a moron to you? Hmm, do you want me to answer that? Aha, very funny. Just come here. Chuichi grabs me by the wrist, leading me away from the entrance into a more secluded spot by the side of the building, with nothing but a few trees to keep us company. I let him do as he wants because, hey, why not? Not like I have anything to lose with a kiss, right? I like kisses. Kisses are nice. There. Now is this better? The scenery sure is nice, at least. Really? Is that all that's nice? I could maybe think of some other things, with the bright encouragement, of course. Of course. Switchy places his hand on my hip, gently pushing me forward, the, forward the near, but toward the nearby wall and into the shade. When my back touches the wall, a shiver hits me on my back and my neck. Does something like this maybe serve as encouragement? It sure does. Switchy leans in, stopping just a few centimeters from my face, so close that I can feel his warm, humid breath close to my mouth. I instinctively close my eyes, waiting for the moment when his lips touch mine. For several agonizing seconds, he stays still, his body so close to mine that I can feel his heat, yet not making contact. And then, as if he's deciding that he's had enough of toying with me, Tuichi takes the plunge, his lips touch mine, and I feel a different kind of shiver going throughout my through my whole body. His grip on my waist tightens, and he gets closer and closer until his chest is pressed up against mine, his lips not parting with mine for even a second. Growing bolder by the second, it would have, what started as an innocent, tender show of affection started growing bolder and urgent. Tuichi began to nibble on my lower lip, making all the fur on the neck of back of my neck stand at attention. It was like this this hungry thing was released. The longer it lasted, the more lost I became in Shuichi's kisses, the more I wanted it to keep going. And yet... <clears throat> Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. You're going to be late for class. Eh? As much as I would love to, I can't stay here kissing you forever. Shuichi slowly pulls away, creating a space between us between us where there used to be, be none just a few seconds ago. It's like he does it on purpose just to tease me. No fair! You talk as if you're the only one suffering. I want to stay here, too. Hmm, I suppose that's true. If anything, I guess you might be even more broken up about it than I am. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? I can feel it brushing up against my thigh, you know. You could. All at once, it clicks in Shuichi's head what I meant. He looks down, gasping at the very thing he hadn't even realized was there, and then promptly reaching down with both hands to cover himself. That guy there sure is eager. I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to push you to push for you to try to- I know, buddy, relax. We've cleared the air on that, okay? I know you there. I know where you and I stand now. And I know you'd never do something to make me uncomfortable. I mean, it is embarrassing, and I'm definitely fighting hard not to get all weird and anxious right now, but I know what that's like. Shuichi's got as much control over it as I do with mine. Which, thankfully, only reacted partially to the kissing. Though, a couple more minutes would likely have done me in. Stupid thing, why now? Well, I suppose I'll be heading to class now, judging from my own experience with such matters. I imagine you'll be getting to yours in, what, five to ten minutes? You're not really going to abandon me here like this, are you? Hey, you're the one who wanted me to go all serious about my education. I'm just being a model student and making sure I get to class in time. You're the worst. I'll miss you too. See you at lunch. I'll get you back for this, just you wait. And just like that, I turn around and left Shuichi to deal with his little problem on the downstairs department. All the while trying to erase the world's biggest smirk on my face. Oh, you are devious. Hmm? You witchy son? Um, oh, yeah, what's up? Are you okay? You're spacing out. Nah, I'm not. I'm just copying the stuff on the board. Uh, the board's blank? 
Huh? The bell rang. The board's been wiped clean. It's lunchtime. Huh. Now, tell me again that you weren't spacing out. Oops. You're not really an oops kind of guy. It doesn't fit you. I can be whatever I want. This is a free society. I don't think that means what you think it means. But what's going on? I guess I have some stuff on my mind. It's not a big deal. Is it about Shuichi-san? Why do you ask? A hunch? Uh, you seemed a little rattled yesterday after lunch. Ah, yeah, the whole thing with Atoka did get me did get to me a bit. Though I wasn't really worried about all that that much about that all that much. I'm more worried about Shuichi being overly apologetic this morning. I don't want him to feel like he has to feel bad feel that bad over something out of his control. Or well, there's that, and then there's also be consider considering whether I should tell my mom about us. I've been weighing whether it was a good whether it's a good idea or not since class started. Because of that, my notes from the morning classes are a huge mess. Hey, don't make that face. I'm sorry I asked. Why are you apologizing? It just looked like I made you remember something bad. You're fine. It's not a big deal. I've been going over this stuff in my head all morning already. Is there anything I can do to help? Not terrorizing my... Um, Shuichi again today would be a lot of help already. Right. Sorry. Stop apologizing. Uh, okay, sorry. I sigh, reaching out to place my hand atop June's head, running my fingers through his fur in an attempt to help him relax. Stop worrying so much. You're fine. That's easier said than done. Osu? Osu! Osu! Oh, great, more people are hopping on the Osu bandwagon. Hmm? What do you mean? It's nothing. Either way, hey there, nice to, nice of you to join us today. You guys took longer than usual. Yeah, well, we had to fetch Atoka, and she took a, took a while to get ready. I was talking to my friends. Chill, it's not a big deal. You're the one who wanted to come over today. I'm here, aren't I? Stop being so pissy. Sheesh. Shuichi grunts, stepping forward and starting to arrange the desk so we can all sit together, taking his seat right, af right after while everyone follows suit. So... I finally get a ticket to the exclusive club, huh? Exclusive club? It's what she calls it when she wants to be annoying. It's just a joke, you know, since you guys get together every day and I never seem to be invited. Don't know who's messaging me. Okay. It's not that easy to include you. You're two years below us, so we only really get to be in the same school a couple times in our lives, and... And we have different circles. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Still could have invited me when I started going here, though. I asked you to. I invited you yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, and it only took, what, a couple of months? I could get used to this. Shut up, Arushihara. Okay, how about we calm down a little bit, you guys? Huh? We are calm. I was more talking about to talking to Shuichi specifically, but I didn't want to single him out. Single him out. Say, how was your family dinner yesterday, Hitoka-chan? It was really nice. Shuichi got to meet our, our future stepdad. Whoa! Stepdad? But you didn't tell me that part, Shuichi. It's not a big deal. It was just a dinner. I don't know him. I don't know him that well yet. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. He's a really nice guy, and he was really interested in getting to know you. I know. I never said he wasn't. So, this stepdad guy, what's he like? I haven't heard about much about him. Him and Mom are getting married soon. They've been dating for a couple years. Mom moved really slow at first, but she did so since she didn't want to introduce me to anyone, she wasn't sure she wanted to have, to have stick around. But I've gotten to know him pretty well. The three of us live together, and he's always been great to us. Hell, he doesn't even mind the fact that Mom still has pictures with Dad hung up on the living room. She does? Well, yeah, they're all family pictures. It's not like she's going to ruin them just to cut him out or anything. That's fair. Could we not talk about this? How come? It's just... not at lunchtime. I'd rather not talk about it. Natoka might have had years to process it, but I haven't, but I haven't, so... Can we just put a pin on this subject for now? Oh, come on! Why is it so bad that Mom is dating? Natoka... At least Mom has been good about it. Dad didn't even have the decency to wait for their marriage to be over here before... Natoka! Ugh... As Atoka was about to reveal something I'm not sure had yet been known, had yet been publicized, Shuichi cut her off with a stern shout, staring her down. That's, um... You're not talking about this anymore. Uh, understood. Now that Hitoka had apparently given us a lesson on how to make a meal awkward in 30 seconds or less, everyone fell into silence, looking around uncomfortably without knowing what to say. I never thought that things would blow up quite as quickly as they did. If anything, I'd feel a little bad for asking about the family dinner in the first place. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? You did nothing wrong. I feel a bit responsible. Don't. It's Atoka that needs to learn to keep her mouth shut. Yeah, whatever. From under the table, I feel something brushing up against my leg. 
After the initial surprise, I look around to see Shuichi looking at me while attempting a smile. That's probably him trying to cover me, huh? That's sweet. <clears throat> Did you really just say ahem out of no out loud? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to change the subject. Get off my back. Sure, because announcing that you were trying to change the subject is such a great way to change the subject. What did I just say? Actually, there's one thing I wanted to ask. Huh? What's that? You guys are going to be traveling soon for your next competition, right? Oh, yeah. Those that qualified for the Kanto Regionals will be leaving tomorrow, won't they? Ooh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Actually, Yuichi can... Uh, Kei can wanted me to ask... I already know what he wants you to ask. It's fine by me. Thank God. What is it? What does Arushihara want? He didn't want to share a room with he with Hoyotokun, so he asked me this morning if I'd be okay sharing with him instead. That's all? Couldn't you just get a room all for yourself? You've got more than enough money. I can't. Hmm. Did something happen? Has Mr. Pennyworth turned into Mr. Pennyless? Just shut up. Eesh. What happened to your sense of humor? My sense of humor is fine. It's your joke that isn't funny. Don't listen to Shuichi. He can say some really mean things while thinking of himself like as being hilarious. Excuse you, I am not Yuichi. Uh, I'm sitting here quietly and minding my own business. Why do you have to needle me? What have to needle me like that? Sorry, it was the first answer that came to mind. I can tell him off for you if you want, Yuichi-kun. I... You both know you tell me off regardless. Besides, it's not effective if you, uh, if you ask someone if they want to tell you tell me off. I guess... Either way, we are going to get two rooms to be shared between the three boys, so we're re so we're relocating Keiken and Yuichi's room and it won't be an issue. What time do you guys leave again? I met up with Yuichi this morning, but I forgot to ask. The bus leaves tomorrow at 8 p.m., so we should be getting into the hotel before it gets too late. 8 p.m.? Isn't that a little too late already? The decision was made to leave at that time, so we'd lose a f leave as few days as possible. So we'd lose as, f lose as few days of school as possible. Possible. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm stuck in my throat. Hmm. As if a single day would make much of a difference. Even so, they might be athletes, but they're still students first. The school will do its best to make sure they don't miss out on class. Even just a day is already important for them. Besides, traveling at night is a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable than doing it during the day. We can nap on the bus. It's a two-hour trip. Do you really need to nap during it? Might as well. What else am I going to do for two hours? Can't we just talk? No one likes a person that doesn't shut up on a bus, Kaken. Funny to hear that from you. I'm pretty sure the first time we met was when you was when you wouldn't stop annoying me during a bus trip. That's different. I was a kid. Oh, I haven't heard this story. Tell me more. No, not this. Anything but this. All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.